In preparation for his new role as Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena Williams in the film King Richard, Will Smith completed a series of interviews to promote the movie and his upcoming memoir. Will would sit down with GQ to talk about the last decade of his life, which has been a bit of an adjustment for the blockbuster actor. In the interview, Will would open up about his non-traditional marriage to Jada Pinkett Smith. For years, rumors surrounding the couple have come up time and time again. Will would open up about their open marriage rumors. Jada never believed in conventional marriage. Jada had family members that had an unconventional relationship. So she grew up in a way that was very different than how I grew up. There are significant endless discussions about what is relational perfection? What is the perfect way to interact as a couple? And for the large part of our relationship, monogamy was what we chose. Not thinking of monogamy as the only relational perfection, everybody has to find their own way. And marriage for us can't be a prison. Today we have our comedy hype analyst, Pierre, as well as Vanessa Fraction calling in and we have to ask, what are your thoughts about Jada and Will's open marriage? Pierre, I'll start with you. It was a long article with GQ. He got into some really deep details about their relationship. What was your initial reaction after reading it? Um, I've always think I always thought they had an unconventional marriage, you know, from the rumors. I used to be managed by the same people they managed. They were managed by uh, back in the days. Um, but they always had an untraditional marriage, um, and and they like and, and they and they just took it to. I can say it's unconventional. You know, people get upset about it because it's not what, what what the normal family is, how it rocks. And they've always tried to work inside of it. And I think they were frustrated that they wanted something different that society wanted. And they've been in the public eye. You got to keep your relationship a certain way. Or people think, but, you know, we've heard about open marriage with them for the longest time and messing around. They just felt like, look, can we be together but not be together in a marriage that you guys want us to be in? And I think they fought, they've been fighting that for the longest now, Vanessa, I want to come to you and get your insight, especially as a newlywed. After reading that, what, what are your thoughts? I think there's still relationship goals, um, Will and Jada, because I think the things that I admire about them is their honesty and their communication and their dedication to being happy as individuals. Because the only way a marriage is going to work, in my opinion, is when you are happy as individuals as well. And I'm, I'm one that I'm in my own business. You know what I'm saying? Whatever works for you works for you. So I actually um, applaud uh, the fact that they're able to do what they're able to do in such a public eye and still seem to have this, um, and still seem to have a wonderful relationship. You know, we never know because we're not behind closed doors, but they smile a lot. They seem to be, you know, very loving toward one another and very understanding towards each other's uh, needs. Have you ever experienced an open relationship yourself, Vanessa? Uh, no, uh, not in a relation, not in a, well, this is my first marriage. So no, my husband is not open to anything like that. Um, I always did think that I would be in an open relationship because I have unconventional, you know, I can, I can understand those unconventional relationships because I believe in individual happiness. We live one time that we can remember. So if you're not happy, I really feel that you should do something about it. And if you have a partner that's willing to do that with you, I think that that's pretty awesome. Absolutely, and it's and I and I ask that because he does mention, you know, he doesn't recommend their agreement for anyone. He continues to say, you know, everyone should do their their own, you know, take their own time to find that out. He said they're happy with their communication, like you said, and that way he that's what he defines as their highest level of love. Um, later in the article, he talks about where he connected with the intimacy coach, where he was able to talk about, you know, his desires of being with 20 plus women on the road and taking care of them and how she was able to, you know, clear out his mind and get him to understand that maybe that's not the best idea. Um, and Pierre, I'm going to come to you on this question. Just having that in mind, do you think as someone that's in entertainment, do you think being single that you're more focused as opposed to when you're in a relationship? Um, well, for me, because you got to kind of speak on yourself, because it all works differently with everyone else. Um, for me, I, my career did better when I was in a relationship. Um, when, when, as a man, when you're not, I was younger then, but when you're not in a relationship, you do a lot of stuff that maybe will take time away from your, you know, focus. And it could be dating, traveling, doing a little extra, if you know what I mean. But when you have that one person centering you, they have your back, you know, you focus on that. And I seem like, the things I was getting, receiving that was a better situation for my career was when I was in a relationship. Um, so, but now I'm not in a relationship, but things are moving the right way. But I'm older now and I'm not doing the running around that I did when I was younger. Vanessa, I want to bring that same question to you. Do you think you're more focused when you're single or when you're in a relationship? 
for me, I'm more focused when I'm single because I'm doing whatever I want to do. You know what I mean? When I'm in a relationship, I'm very lovey-dovey. So I very much like to be under my man. You know what I mean? Like I tell him sometimes, please go to work. Don't work from home, child. So I can get something done. Because <laughs> I'm going to be sitting in your office, messing around, running around naked, being silly. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm um, single, though, I can wait. I'll wake up at 3 in the morning and just get to writing or get to working or, you know, work out more. I just do things differently without having to consider someone else. So um, again, I'm at the beginning of my marriage and things are actually going really, really well because as Pierre said as well, there's a different focus that you have when someone has your back and all that different stuff. So I can see it working in many ways, but I don't know. My drive is different. I use the word different. My drive is different when I'm single than, um, and again, I'm new to this whole being in a marriage thing. So I guess I have to report back soon <laughs> and let you know. Can I ask um, Pierre a question? Absolutely. Okay. So Pierre, just since we're talking about all this openness and stuff like that, had you, did you say you'd ever been in an open relationship, even a, excuse me, sexually, like an orgy type situation, something where you're sharing yourself with more than one? You asked me, have I been in one or you saying, have I seen Will in one? <laughs> Well, what's the quote? I'm sorry. What did you say? That? I was asking if you, you. Oh, you. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been in, I've been in many open relationships. The women didn't know it, but shit, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you know, it was my bad, my bad. You know, it, but it, it was that door closed quickly too when they found out. You know, it was a closed relationship. No, but um, an open relationship, not that's not for me. That's not for me. You know, yeah. um, I can't imagine somebody, you know. On my woman, hell no, you know, especially if they got more than I got, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> hell no, you went hollering over there, girl. You went hollering over there. You don't holler with me like that. Damn that. Yeah, and Pierre, th those weren't considered open relationships. That was just straight out cheating. Oh, oh, right. my bad. Okay, I was, I was, I was open to the fact that I was meeting other people. You said you was open to it, but that's it. Right. Back on. <laughs> but to comment back to Will and Jada and my appreciation for them is the fact and that's why I like the way that they said we just had some moments or some periods in our relationship of non-monogamy so I like that terminology because it's not cheating when we're both open about who we are and what we're doing in our um in our quest for you know living the best life that we can so but but, but but can you can you have a traditional black love where everybody finds you know we, right now we're into that black love thing if mm -hmm. you're sharing your partner in a marriage, is it still considered black love or black excellence or however you want to say it? What is it? You know, I think one on one is the best situation, you know, mm -hmm. and I think they had a lot of arguments and problems in their relationship just because, like you said, you saw them smiling. But it seems in that article, they weren't really happy a lot of times when they were smiling because they, they were arguing about certain stuff. And then I think if you don't go into a relationship talking about being open from the rip, it ain't about being together with somebody for four or five years and say, let's go open now. That's mm -hmm. a little, ugh, you know, so if you go in, no one's going to be open, that might work. But if you don't know going in and, you know, both partners got to be on, on, what do you call it? On, on with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Some like, well, I kind of, let me think about it. No, if you ain't. Or I'm doing freak, this like, for you right, or none of that. Right. You got to do it because it's going to, to work for you. And, and as you said, you know, and, and marriages in general have complications, but mm -hmm. I know plenty of marriages that are, they've been together a long time but they ain't been happy in a long time. Right. So I'm not here, for me, I'm just like a to each his own because it's not right. like marriage is a fitted cap. It's more like a right. snap. And I think too, you know I think saying? this is, it's more this is like why, a, you know. This what, is why it's such a, a big conversation in our culture because I think a lot of people are starting to explore the polygamy side of you know relationships and things like that. So it's, it's definitely a conversation that our culture is having. We're seeing things come forward more and more. A lot of people did look up to Will and Jada. So I think, you know, everybody will have why their Why you said in past tense, symphony so, well because some people i mean if we're being honest like some people see it and they're a little turned off because it's different than how they're raised but some people see it like you said and they're like oh well i appreciate that they're able to communicate through that and that works for them that's just a little bit different for me but all right but it just depends on but, 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 hey, but let me ask you one thing since we're talking about black folks you know I'm, I'm the white guy on the show and shit so let me ask you them why you let my white european way do y'all relationships when in Africa uh, they had many wives? Why you let the white man make you stay with one woman? So when you're with one woman right now, one man, you're doing the white person, that European thing. Get on back that to note, everybody. Be a king with one man, one man with a whole bunch of women. That's what we did in Africa. That was the African way. Yeah. On that mm -hmm. note, I'm gonna well, go ahead and close us out. I appreciate y'all for calling in. You heard from us. Now we want to hear from you on the comments below. What are your honest thoughts on Will and Jada's non-traditional marriage? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it in the comments. Answer you got to do what works for you. My do black what works people. for you.
my black African people. Don't do it the white way. Don't do that European Answer thing. Answer in the comments. <laughs> do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.